Hello, my name is Derek Franklin, and I'm an Applications Engineer here at Go Engineer. In this quick tip video, I'm going to show you how we can utilize the Model Manager command inside of SOLIDWORKS Plastics to copy a project. And these projects can be copied with or without the results, and it can be used to test multiple scenarios of the same part with different settings, such as if we want to test different materials. So let's see how this is done. On the SOLIDWORKS Plastics command tab, we can click on the Model Manager button. From here, we can browse to the existing project and select that folder. So I'm just going to browse to that folder, select it, and say OK. I can see that it shows up in the tree now. Now the copy command and related options are used to manage the data created during the analysis. The analysis results are automatically stored in a folder with the same name as the part at the same level. The folder is generated automatically. The mesh and injection locations are copied with the part geometry. So if I want to make a copy of this particular project, I can right click on it and select copy. Then I'm going to right click on the top level folder called case study in this example. And I'm going to select, select the option paste without results because I don't want to copy the results. Once I do that, I see a little message telling me that the project is going to be renamed and there is my next uh, copy project. So I'm going to do it a couple of more times. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to close this model and I'm going to go and open up one of the copied models. So as you can see here, you can see those folders listed there as well as an additional copy of the part for each new instance. And at this point, I could go in and add additional settings, mesh it, and run this study for this instance that I've created. So there you have it. A quick and easy way to be able to copy projects inside of SOLIDWORKS Plastics. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.